welcome for today's discussion as we will revisit uh, this fundamentals again uh, today's topic will cover master data the entire master data uh, uh, entire master data uh, this was uh, in last week we we were actually uh, was not we were actually not able to complete the entire set of master data so today uh, rather rather just talking on the delta master data that we missed last week uh, we will retouch or we will re explore the all the entire master data that we uh, that is there in tm uh, specifically uh, excluding the master data of charge management charge management uh, it's a separate topic and uh, as we go along in this uh, discussion uh we will separately touch on the master data of charge management uh it's a huge topic in itself so that's why i'm leaving the charge management data and we will be touching the rest of the master data so today we will understand uh, once again look what is the bps what is the organization structure what is transportation network and uh what is a transportation lane and add on to it is uh, that we missed last week was uh, what is a resource what is means of transport what is mode of transport and what are schedules so uh, welcome guys welcome once again for today's discussion so first to begin our quick um, a quick recap so uh, this is as we all know uh, this is the end to end flow of uh, our ta uh, end to end flow of uh, tm starting with the uh, starting on the very top is the request management uh, that is the fwo uh, then fwo fwo dtr and otr it creates a fubr uh, yeah. we have a fubr in the place uh, freight unit building rule we'll see freight unit building rule more, maybe tomorrow or in the next week topic uh, as we cover from tomorrow we'll be starting the request management or uh, the order order management part of tm so um, uh, uh, with the help of fubr we create a freight unit in the system Uh, we create a freight unit in the system, and this freight unit helps. Uh, we create a freight unit in the system, and this freight unit. Uh, I'll just quickly change the color of the highlighter. Uh, which we we create a freight unit in the system. Then the freight unit is basically creating a transportation, is uh, triggering a transportation planning requirement for the optimizer engine. that means we are now we are now reaching the second block second block where we call it as dispatching and uh, execution or transportation uh, planning and execution you can call it uh, any any uh, whichever way you are comfortable now um, once uh, through the optimizer planning or through manual planning we create a freight order and a freight order Uh, the freight order is uh, basically having uh, all the requirements what is the goods to be transported when it is to be transported from where which location it is to be transported and then go into tendering uh, then we can send this freight order for freight tendering uh, freight tendering is basically uh, uh, what are the carriers who are available uh, for uh servicing on that transportation lane uh be, there are two types of tendering that can be possible uh, first is uh, peer to peer tendering a peer to a peer to peer tendering and second is the broadcast uh, tendering so we will see uh, the entire tendering in much more detail as we go along then we reach the uh, the next block that is the transportation charge management um the tcm uh it's all 
uh, operate order will have a TCM uh, tab into it, a charge calculation tab. Uh, it is nothing but the combination of uh, your rate table scales and calculation sheet, which determines the rate in the freight order and it specifies what is the uh, what is the rate that you are uh, what is the what is the rate that you want to pay for the freight and uh, what are the charges that are that will be incurred. So once you uh, once you read once. Uh, you have charges now you can do a freight settlement now in the settlement parts actually works for both ways first with the forwarding order settlement and second is the freight order settlement that's why if you see the forwarding order settlement you can see an arrow coming from the uh, top right from uh, fwo or uh, create a freight settlement document and uh, 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 a forwarding settlement document and a freight settlement document which is getting generated from a freight order. So this is then sent to ECC. Uh, this is then sent to ECC for uh, accounting. So uh, just to be, uh, I'm, I've repeated it a number of times, but one more time, a freight forwarding settlement document is always settled with a uh, billing document and a freight settlement document is always settled with a 